yes, I went from that pilot, which I just thought, this is exactly what I can't and do. And it didn't go, the pilot? No. So. Didn't even shoot it. I said, mm. I just can't do this stuff. Um, I had a wonderful agent called Martha Luttrell at ICM, and she said, OK, let's meet some great people doing television production, and let's start at the top with this guy called James L. Brooks, and then we'll just keep working our way down and we'll see what happens. I went, OK. Yeah, I was, you know. <sighs> Perm, short skirt, crappy pilot script in one hand. I don't want to do this. And then I remember going to meet Jim Brooks, sent me over to the Fox lot, and uh, it was amazing, you know. I mean, it was a different league, and I don't know quite what he made of me or what I made of him, and he said, wow, man, a lot, and talked about, you know, ethereal things, and, and I just... He, he was almost like a Svengali, you know, and I came away and I thought, wow, he's really interesting. Now, that is a whole different world. That's Mary Tyler Moore show brain. That's that's Taxi. That's, you know, I mean, it was... It was All the shows he worked on. Extraordinary, yeah. And so... Were you familiar with He'd just his? done Terms of Endearment and, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, what did you think about the show, the way his shows portrayed women? Is that great. Something? I mean, you could see he loved women, mm -hmm. you know. Um, Rhoda and, you know, Julie Kavner on Rhoda as Brenda and that, that endearing, poignant, the sadness of people. I mean, he just, Jim loves women. He just done tons of endearment. I think as I was meeting him, I think Deborah Winger wandered in with a big German shepherd dog. Hi, Jim. Wow, man. Wow, man. Deborah, wow. You know, meet Tracy. Wow. You know, you go. And he just believed in me. He said, I think you are, gave me the most flattering comment, Peter Sellers. He said, you're like a female Peter Sellers. And he said, I don't do television anymore. He said, but... Being at Fox, he said, they are starting up this new fourth network and they're going to need programs. He said, and I got this crazy idea that you could do a sort of Peter Seller thing and we could all try stuff and I've got all these writers I want to work with. He said, it's going to be really hard. He said, and he kept saying things like, I don't know if I should do this. And I was going, I don't know. I mean, you know. And I think I told myself, I think I'm pregnant, by the way. He went, what? Oh, wow, man. He said, that's great. He said, have a kid. That's fantastic. He said, but what you need to do while you're pregnant. And then he liked that. I think that gave him a window. And he said, so while you're pregnant, which is great. Wow, man. Um, understand America more. He said, learn about this country. He said, go to the Museum of Broadcasting and watch. And he gave me all these lists of shows to see. And he said, um, get your American education and listen and don't just watch the news and imitate newscasters. And he, you know, he, so I would do that. And we just, we agreed to do this show um, when I'd had my baby and uh, we kept in touch. And I would go to the Museum of Broadcasting and I would watch all the Lucille Ball shows, of course. I would watch your show of shows and Imogene Coker, he wanted me to look at her, he wanted me to look at Gracie Allen because that's where he named his company after Gracie yeah. Films, Gracie Allen. So he loves women, you see. Yeah. And um, I would watch many documentaries he told me to watch and about this, the, you know, society, American society. And, and got a real education and... Um, accents and all sorts, though I really was in training to yeah. do the Tracy Ullman show.